I love petunias, and I've grown them everywhere we've lived. I especially have enjoyed them this year with these two large planters on our porch. Well, that is until something went wrong. I noticed blooms starting to just shrivel up and there were holes eaten through the leaves and the base of the flowers. And here's the culprit. I've heard people call this a tobacco worm, but I know it as a budworm. Another telltale sign are the little black specks on the leaves and the ground. That's worm poop. I hate them. I did a little research and found people were having success getting rid of these critters with Captain Jack's dead bug brew. So I picked up a bottle and I sprayed them down. You should do it once a week and then after sunset because that's when they're the most active. Thankfully it worked and my petunias began to bloom again. But it didn't work permanently, so we had to try something else in the mix. Well, we're still having issues with our petunias, um, with the budworms. You saw me spraying Captain Jack's, which worked for two or three weeks, and then they kind of got used to it. And so we, as we've done some research, we've discovered that you kind of have to change things up. So what we're gonna do is add some diatomaceous earth into the mix. So we'll just kind of alternate. Um, this we just got at, I think, Lowe's, so it's not too expensive. Diatomaceous earth is ground up fossilized seashells from the ocean, and the worms ingest it, and it kind of develops a, some hard crystals in our bodies, and it kills them. So last week I sprayed Captain Jack's. Now this week I'm going to do the diatomaceous earth, and we'll just kind of alternate. I've heard of people doing, adding a third something else in to the mix, and we might still have to do that too. I've never had to deal with budworms before, so this has been really challenging, but I love petunias, so to me it's worth the effort. But anyway, a lot of the diatomaceous earth packages come with a dispenser. It's kind of a squeeze bottle. This one did not, so I just went to the grocery store and got a like a condiment squeezer. I thought it would be less th messy than using my hands. All right, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna apply it. And you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this. It's, this powder is so fine. Even though this is an organic product, you wanna wear a dust mask because you don't want to be inhaling a fine powder into your lungs. So we're gonna see if this works. All right, it's done. Hopefully this works. It doesn't look very pretty right now because there's white powder everywhere, but I have to water in the morning. So hopefully that kind of washes it in. Hopefully that helps take care of it. We're gonna alternate for a, a few weeks and see what happens. Might have to throw something else in the mix. I feel pretty good right now about killing those little suckers. So hopefully, hopefully it works. We'll let you know. Thanks for watching, bye.